Hello. In today's video, I'm going to explain how to use field map visual in Power BI to display the measures when we have country has a dimension. Let's go to PBI. Here is the PBI file and this country heat map I created using the field map visual. So this is the one. So if I click on this, you can see it's a field map visual. This field map visual is very powerful and it has the functionality to zoom in and zoom out. And also if I hover over this particular visual, I can see the tooltip. So based on the location, I can see what is the numbers for that particular country for the measure which we add here. So before we start to build this from scratch, let me show you the data. So I have one table, fact, and I have uh, five columns here. Country, this is the column which I used in my heat map. And I also have country code, but I haven't used this anywhere. And the business segment, and column one and column two, which I used to calculate some measures. So let me go to report and then delete this heat map and also the other measures. And let's start from scratch, okay? So I deleted the field map visual from this report and let's start from scratch. So I kept two measures as it is because it's very simple. So column total is the sum of fact column one and the ratio is, is the uh, fact column one divided by fact column two, okay? So these are the only two measures. So I'm gonna create one more measure to decide which color I need to use for the country based on certain criteria. So I'll call this as color code equal to, I will use the switch function, switch is equal to true. Then ratio is greater than 0.86 I will use green color, so let me copy the color code. So this is the color which I'll be using. If my ratio is greater than 86% else, I want to show it as a red. Let me copy the color code and paste it here. Okay, hit enter. So, I have the logic to decide which color I need to use. So the next step is I'm gonna add new fill map here. Let me increase the size so that it fits well within this page, okay? And once I have this here, I will add the country name to this location. Okay, so we have the default color that's blue and to the tooltip, I'm going to drag the column total and also the ratio. Okay. So these are the two fields I added here. And now, if I hover over it, you can see the country and also the two measures which I just added. And now, this might not be very meaningful because it's all in the same color. So at least I want to identify which country is performing well and the country which is not performing well. So to do that, I'll go to the format section here and under the data colors, click on the drop down, and you can see the default color is blue. So I'm gonna click on this function here and then I'm gonna use field value the field which we just created, that's a color code. I'm gonna use this column or this measure to decide which color I need to use, okay? And close this. And now if you notice here, the colors have changed. So now the color formatting is based on the condition which we just implemented in this measure, right? If my ratio is greater than 86%, it's performing well, and that's the reason I'm showing it as green. If it is not performing well, I want this to be red. So this is extremely useful when you have several countries and you want to identify the countries which are not performing well or which are performing well at one go, okay? Without click, having too many clicks. So this is very powerful. I hope this video was helpful. And if you like this, please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends or colleagues, okay? And thanks for watching. Have a great day.